Study Sewer Enterprise Fund. Uh, raise an appropriate $20,000 to engage professional financial advisors <coughs> and to study and report back to the selectmen. Uh, go ahead, Fred. Do you want to uh, talk on the this? The selectmen later? would like to know, and I think probably the townspeople want to know, because a lot of sewer departments are, and towns with sewer departments are going to this process, a sewer enterprise fund. Mm -hmm. There are pros and there are cons. And the selectmen made a decision as they were talking about these things to say, okay, let's study it. Let's find out what all the pros are. Let's find out what all the cons are. We'll lay them out to the citizens of the community and see whether or not they want to vote on this as a, as a warrant article when the study is done. There are, and I, in fact, I noticed uh, today when I studied the, uh, the proposed federal legislation, for instance, that... Um, they're talking about penalizing uh, businesses for certain things that can be done and certain things that can't be done. For instance, local property taxes. The, there was a, I don't I hope it's been stripped, but there was a provision in there that businesses couldn't deduct it, anything over $10,000. So that's kind of silly because it's a business expense. The question is, if they do that and this comes off the tax rate, they can then deduct this because it's a business expense. There's all kinds of pros and cons here. We need to look at all of them to figure out what it is that we should do and recommend to the town or a list of the town what those pros and cons are and let them vote on what they want to do. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Manager. Um, any discussion on this? Seeing none. Okay. This is a, a proposal to spend $20,000 to be, do a study on the enterprise fund. Yes. And the enterprise fund, as things exist now, are if we were to pay for the sewer that way, would, would not be deductible on the federal income tax for businesses or individuals. And I think that... It would be deductible for businesses. It is an expense. Oh, right, oh, right, sorry. For individuals, most, right. of, most of the property owners in time. Right. And um, I think that, in my opinion... Um, on that primary item alone, the voters are never going to approve an enterprise fund. How do you know? That's my opinion. I, I, I just I my, it's, my, it's just my gut feeling is that we're, going, we're, we're doing a study on, on, on uh, taking an approach of an enterprise fund that the voters are not going to buy in the end, no matter how attractive it's sold. That's just my opinion. Uh, I could be wrong. It's my own projection on the matter. Um, and I think we're losing not only $20,000, which is a relatively small amount of money, uh, but we're losing the time looking down what I think will be a dead end, ultimately. Uh, so that's my concern with this particular Warren article. Thank you, Tim. Regina? I would disagree. I think we're at a dead end right now. And not having anything set aside for the people that like to live here another 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah, this doesn't set anything aside, though. Uh, yeah, it does. No, it spends $20,000 for a study. To see if this will actually work for the town, so it can be something that we can <coughs> have a nest egg for, so that next year when we got to do another $14 million for the wastewater treatment plant. Enterprise fund will work. The question is, will, will, will the voters buy it? Well, you know, what, you know what my I whole have. theory was, was putting it on for this? Because this, we could just do this study on our own. Am I correct, Fred, if we wanted to? Yeah. You could take we it just couldn't that. implement it without yeah. a town vote. Was to get everyone on the same page as to why we're even pursuing this. Right. To and, see and, if it would work. And, and we don't me, know if it's going to work. I, I, I want to have my federal And it's not going to be up like what people go to Exeter and they, no offense, Chris. Tell me why I'm wrong, there, Why do I not price? want my federal tax deduction? Well, you may not have it anyway. You may not have, may it, not have, have it, it, but I definitely to, have it today. Do you want to be able to flush your toilet for the rest of your life? The, the question is not flushing yeah. my toilet. I'm going to be able to flush my toilet right no matter what. Right, Whether we, right. order. The enterprise fund is a question order. of how order. you pay for order. it. Order. The enterprise order. fund is, a, order. is nothing order. but a financing vehicle. Tim. Okay, order. Yes, Jenny. Okay. Regina just said you had $20,000 that you didn't have, it, that if this warrant article, you didn't have to put it in this warrant article. Where well, did that $20,000 Well, we would have put it in the budget. You're not saying you have it now, right? Actually, because I was going to say, where's your 15000 I wanted, I, this was my idea. I want it specifically <laughs> stated. So the people, I, I am against it. I'm against an enterprise fund. I had it in Epping. I had it before. But, I mean, it's, and how many studies is this? Uh, trash. Let's talk about trash. We studied and studied and studied. But if you guys want to study it and the voters say yes, go for it. But 
Thank you, Jenny. Okay, we're going to vote on this. All yeah, I can't recommend the voters vote for this. All for those reason. in favor of recommending this? We need, we oh, we need, need a motion. Uh, a motion. Uh, Mike, I'll make a motion. Way. Regina, second it, please. Okay. Um, all those in favor, raise your hand. So we have Chuck, Rage, we have Regina, we have Stephen LeBranch, we have uh, Mr. Plouffe and David. For those against, raise your hands. We have Mr. Jones, Ginny, and Mr. Um, Sonny. <laughs> Mr. Sonny. Mr. Sonny. 